Hey everyone, welcome back to another gazebo chat. It seems like this setup is probably going to be my permanent setup until I'm done with these kind of videos. Um, uh, today, I'm smoking my Eric Nording pipe, and uh, inside it is the fourth aromatic that came out of the eight from Milan Tobacconist. And it's called Sportsman. And the description is, fire-cured Cavendish tobaccos flavored to produce an extremely mild, slow-burning, cool smoke blended with mature black Cavendish and high, yellow-bright, flue-cured tobaccos. Additional note is, says, uh, very pleasant room aroma and a light, sweet taste. It is very light. Um, similar to the one I smoked yesterday, it um, doesn't have any you know, really distinct flavors other than, I guess, the, the specific tobaccos in there. There's no added flavor, I don't believe. Um, and uh, it is pretty, pretty smelling and um, a very light, sweet taste on the tongue. Um, similar to a couple of the other previous tobaccos I've had. Definitely a good beginning uh, smoke, an aromatic, uh, something to get used to. It definitely won't scare away a smoker for being too pungent or um, very strong. Now on Twitter I said uh, uh, the gazebo chat might be a no-go for tonight, but um, it is drizzling. I don't know if you can hear it through the audio of this video, but um, the gazebo stayed pretty dry. Um, the seat and the railing that I used to prop up the camera and lean against is um, dry, so I decided why not. I'll enjoy my pipe and I'll record the video. So, my topic for tonight is growing tobacco. Um, I have had an interest in doing it. And I... Uh, I posted on Twitter and was talking to a couple people about it, and they said, go for it. I mean, it's legal in Pennsylvania for people to just grow it without um, the intention of, you know, selling it. Um, it would be for personal use. And um, I want to, but I don't really know about the conditions since I've never really had my own garden. I've had a few plants, but just things as a kid and nothing I really cared about. This is something that I wouldn't want to waste my money on the seeds and to spend all this time and, you know, for it to just crash and burn on me. And also, I currently live in a dorm. I'd probably wait until I move into the townhouse, but there's no property outside that I can garden in. So it would have to be an indoor plant that I'd probably do in my room or um, has, have as for the time being of growing and not harvesting a decorative plant in maybe the living room or something and I was reading that some of these tobacco plants can get up to like 20 feet tall and obviously my room's not that tall um, neither floor is that tall anywhere so I was wondering if any of you guys have done any research about this and if there's any smaller versions uh, that I could actually grow indoors um, I'm not sure how tall the ceilings are. Uh, I just had a quick tour and decided, you know, it's cheaper than the dorm, so I'm just going to go for it. I didn't really put too much thought into it. But I'd say it's no more than, like, 8 feet or 9 feet, 10 feet, whatever a standard uh, ceiling is. Probably, like, 10 feet. And um, I'd put it near a window or whatever so it could get sunlight during the day. But, um, I really want to, but they just get too big, and if there's a smaller version, then I'll definitely go for that. Or, if it's possible to get these ones that grow really tall, and if it's still at an adequate stage in its life for me to harvest it before it gets that tall, um, if you guys know anything about that, let me know. Um, I'd really appreciate it, because i I'd definitely go for trying to start, do my own blends, and just growing it as a garden hobby. If it turns out, that's great. If it doesn't, then it was a cool experience.
I was working on a podcast for my German, um, my beginner's German course. We had to present a few places on campus that we visit a lot and kind of what they offer, and we had to do it all speaking German. So that was pretty interesting. Um, I mean, I'm wrapping up school. I'll have th the rest of this week, next week of classes, and then finals week. So I just have to stick it through another two and a half weeks, and um, time for summer. Um, there's just so much stuff on my mind, and I, I, tr I tend to talk very fast through these videos, and it's kind of nice that I, I didn't really talk as much this time. I like relaxing, and unfortunately, since it's the towards the end of the semester, my mind is going in every direction so fast, and it's kind of painful to just, you know, I can't do everything at once, and it just kind of makes me put it off so I can just enjoy myself, whereas I should be um, doing my work. Uh, I don't do anything late, I always get my stuff done on time, but I tend to procrastinate. But, I got an essay back yesterday, A-. minus. seem to do pretty good in writing and presenting so and that's that's why I decided to switch my major from computer science to the communication studies so I'm hoping I'll have a bright future in that as something in you know public relations or sales or something uh, it'll it'll be really fun in the future if all goes as planned so um I guess that's about it. I should probably start making these videos a little bit shorter so I don't bore you guys out of, you know, st sticking around with this stuff. Um, so, with that said, thanks for watching this video, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.